what you need to know. You need to know the difference between composite numbers and prime numbers. So what is prime factorization? It's writing a composite number as the product of its prime factors. Let's look at a few examples. So for example number one, we're asked to find the prime factorization of 12. What we need to do is we need to think of a multiplication product problem whose answer is 12. So the first one comes to mind is 2 times 6. So we just write it like this. Now, 2 is a prime number, so I'm going to put a box around there. That's done. I can't break it down any further. However, the 6 is composite, so I can break that down further to 2 times 3. And again, these are both prime numbers, so I'm going to put a box around them. So I'm all done. So the prime factorization of 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. If I wanted to write that in exponential form, I would just write it as 2 squared times 3. So one way to check if you have the right answer is just to multiply it out. 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12. Next example, we have 30. Again, let's think of a multiplication problem whose answer is 30. So we could think of 5 times 6. Now again, 5 is prime. Box around there, we can't break it down any further. And the 6 can be broken down to 2 times 3. So we're done with both of them. Prime numbers, box around them, the prime factorization of 30 is 2 times 3 times 5. Now again, just we can't break down the 5 any further. Some people might think we could break it down using 1. Okay, so let's say we did that. We have 1 times 5. We still have a 5, so we didn't actually break it down at all. Another example, let's say we have 50. So again, let's think of a multiplication problem whose answer is 50. Let's do 5 times 10. So 5 is a prime number. We box it. 10 is composite. We could break it down further. Let's do 2 times 5. Both prime numbers. Box round each. We're all done. We write it out like this, 2 times 5 times 5, or save a little space, write it in exponential form, 2 times 5 squared. Next example, we have 120. So again, let's think of a multiplication problem whose answer is 120. Uh, we could think of 2 times 60. 2 is prime, we're all done, we'll box it. 60, we can write that as 2 times 30. We'll box the 2. 30 can be written as 2 times 15. Box the 2, and 15 can be writ written as 3 times 5. Both primes, both get boxes. So the prime factorization of 120 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Shorthand, we got exponential form as 2 to the third power times 3 times 5. Something to keep in mind, we could go ahead and use any multiplication problem whose answer is 120. So if I did this differently and I said, let's say we start out again with 120, Let's say instead of using 2 times 60, I used 10 times 12. Well, these can both be broken down. The 10 becomes 2 times 5. So that breaks down. And the 6 becomes 2, I'm sorry, the 12 becomes 2 times 6. The 2 is prime, and the 6 becomes 2 times 3. So again, we have all the same numbers. We have three twos, one, two, three, a three and a five. So it really doesn't matter which multiplication problem you use. And that is how you find the prime factorization of numbers. Make sure you check out mrmathflix.com for more videos and practice material.